Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome back to Lego Marvel Marvel's Adventures. Where today we are going to be playing classic Captain Marvel. Let's jump right in. Hi there, Carol Danvers here. Well, at least I was, until I got caught in an exploding psyche magnetron machine. I came out of the blast with an extra lobe in my brain and some pretty awesome superpowers. Mm. Going by the name Captain Marvel and wearing a cool costume, I battle evil. Cool. Things have gotten pretty weird around here recently. A few unwelcome guests coming out of the woodwork. Oh, what now? Lady wrestlers? You're putting me on. Let's make this brief, Pound Cakes. I've got places to be. Okay. So there we were in the park, when my old adversary, Pound Cakes, suddenly shows up out of nowhere. It seemed like Pound Cakes didn't want to play after all. Except I wasn't buying it. Probably just trying to lure me in. Time to look around for a plan B. Look at the worst name ever, but okay. Not like it's Marvel Pound Cakes. Pound Cakes? Pound Cakes? Pound Cakes? Pound cakes. What? <laughs> so she can't do the whole thing. Whoa. And yeah, like, a actual spot in her brain makes it, makes her get the her superpowers. I mean, she's got superpowers, which is awesome. What's that gonna do? That got uh, her attention, but I think it's safe to say she still looked pretty mad. We had to act tired. fast. And it's a fountain. Yes. Um. I guess it makes sense. I don't know, you whatever. Hey, Dad. Over here. Eh. Ouch! Now that was an accident just waiting to happen. Rounder and Spamit. Founder again. I'll talk slowly. She is on Google Mad. That's when Pound Cakes got really mad. She was on a super rampage and called me out for a one on one wrestling match. I'm no wrestler, Good. but hey, somebody had to shut her up. Somebody else. Thank you. That's pound cakes yeah. taken care of. Great. What now? Yon Rog. I should have known he was behind this madness. Looks like he's going to crush my lovely city with a Another city? He can't do that. I've only just got my place how I like it. Come on, Cap. We have to stop that Cree before the Big Apple's only fit for Strudel. Huh. Okay. So he's crushing this city with another city. Yon Rog delivered his obligatory supervillain okay. speech, and his plan became clear. Pieces of shrapnel from the Psyche Magnetron machine, still in my body, were being used to help power his evil schemes. Yon Rog had used this power to rebrand himself as Magnetron. He planned to rebuild an entire Cree city, dropping it on top of New York. Okay. Magnetron. Wow, who saved me? Wow. There was a weird feeling. As if when Magnetron got hurt, I felt it too. Like we were connected, being drained of power every time he reappeared. Okay. 
Who did next to the guy? That kind of makes sense. Look, Harry Potter and Voldemort. I'm honestly thinking they're introducing new catch up on that. I mean, not like it's bad. Dead Friday. But I love Harry Potter and Voldemort. That Without being song. able to fly, this bike was going to be a whole lot tougher. Pretty glad Cap remembered to bring his souped-up bike along. Well, I can't fly. Speaking of headaches, every time I tried to fly, I got a searing pain in my skull. I'm guessing that was due to Magnetron using my strength to power his. Ah. Oh. Oh, fight! Cap was pretty salty about that bike getting destroyed. I said I could hook him up with a spaceship, but he just gave me that face. I was starting to feel like no matter how many of these constructs or bad guys that I got rid of, Magnetron would just go ahead and summon some more. We needed a more permanent fix. The source of my headache is also the source of his power. I need to get away. Break the connection. Only then can he be taken down. The further I get from him, the more I can feel my mind slipping away, losing who I am, my memories. I hope I let the cat out. Okay. Is that like... Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? Why can't I just send him back up to space? Why do I have to send him back down to Earth so I have to go back up to space? Yeah, why do I Why just do that? No, not yet. No, it doesn't. And very book schedule, thank you very much. Over this way! Pass them! Here we go! Almost Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Let's do this! This is Agent Melinda May with a special S.H.I.E.L.D. report. The following information is highly classified and should only be accessed by agents with experience of Season 2 events. You have been spoiler warned. It has become apparent that our new recruit Sky has some secrets. Ones revealed during a mission to a buried alien city. We had no way of knowing that the transforming alien technology we found would cause S.H.I.E.L.D. itself to fracture. 
Skye's gifts came from her father, a villainous doctor with a ruthless bedside manner, and her mother, an energy vampire bent on starting a war with S.H.I.E.L.D. What she didn't anticipate was that someone had called him the Cavalry. Me. Okay. Things weren't going well. We were outnumbered and many of our best agents had been compromised. The mission directive had changed. Our priority was now to infiltrate the Inhuman Complex and extract the remaining agents. Okay. Something about this doesn't add up. Okay. I've never met as far as it might not work in season two of the the thing the the Avengers. Orders are orders. It's just yeah. And she was in the way. <laughs> Is she a really bad person? Using superpowers in a fist fight? Cheater. With the Inhumans distracted, we seized the opportunity to rescue our fellow agents. But the mission was far from over. Why did you not? Oh, okay. Access Yeah. Get out of there. 
ballot. This is the last one. Guess he's up there then. Well, thanks, Gwen Jet. Person. Sky's new friend may have had an electric personality, but there really wasn't any excuse for his shocking behavior. We wouldn't be able to reach him from the ground, so we had to take a different approach. The area around us was becoming more dangerous. So much for the scenery. Jiang Ying and Sky were always just out of reach. Access granted. Just as we were in range of Sky, we confirmed what Shield has suspected all along. Agent May, log entry 1129. Jiang Ying revealed her true colors, but it was too late to stop the attack. Sky's mother wasn't the only monster in the family. Her father, Cal, had now become even more dangerous. I just hope I'm not invited to their next family reunion. The Inhuman, known as Gordon, had been attacking agents on board for only a few seconds, but the entire quadrant had already been compromised. Good thing S.H.I.E.L.D. had been working on quantum entanglement technology over the last year. Fitz had been running some diagnostic tests on three prototype quantum field disruptors. Hopefully they could be used to limit Gordon's dimensional warping powers, meaning he wouldn't be able to get away. In other words, he can't have a port. If it works. I'll rant about this later. Cool. Superpowers. Boom! Oh. Gordon was too fast for our agents. I could have caught him if I'd had the chance. Downloading data. Okay, let's wrap up it.
We should have anticipated this. Anticipated what? The Mist was toxic to humans, but Skye's inhuman genetics gave her an advantage. Okay. So. Having some trouble? That's why I'm here. Awesome. Director Coulson's genius plan may have cleared the mist, but it also disrupted the power. Fitz wanted to search for Sky, but we had more immediate threats to deal with. Guess we'll go out here. Jiang Ying had given us her ex, Cal, as a prisoner, but he turned out to be another pawn in her game. Colson had ordered us to take down Cal gently. Wouldn't have been my call. Agent May, log entry 1130. After trapping Dr. Zabo, Director Coulson used Cal's family connections to subdue the more beastly side of his nature. With Zabo on our side and S.H.I.E.L.D. finally working as a team, the rest was just clean. This is not the last we'll see of the Inhumans, but at least our team made it out intact. Where's Simmons? Okay. Well, thank you all so much for watching. So, hope to see you in the next video where we will continue doing more bonus awards. Bye!